um, I'm a member of parliament in St. Martin and like I, I came in my presentation, um, I, came, I come from a family in banking. You know, my dad was the managing director of one of the largest banks in the, in the country. Um, but you have to imagine he was in the banking sector where you had a population of like three or four thousand people at the time. So you, a bank was just about, you know, facilitating people, you know, a, a place where they can put their money, um, save it, save it responsibly. You can have a banker like my dad would tell you, OK, if you want to be able to maybe uh, expand your home a bit, this is how we can help you. This is the rates we can give you. It was about helping people. And around the, the late 90s, my dad actually after 25 years of service in the banking sector, had an early retirement. He could have worked for another 10 years, but he retired because he just didn't like the direction that the banking sector was going. And at the time, I'm, I'm a teenager, and I'm hearing him come home talking about these things, and I'm like, you know, wow, this is, this is sad. You know, that even my dad, who loved banking so much, his whole view on it, the fact that it's changing to a fee structure, the abuse of the fractional reserve system. Even as a teenager, I'm hearing all these terms because he's coming home and venting to my uncle and my, my dad and, and others as well. So uh, I've always had a view that, you know, why can't banking go back to what it was, you know, what it should be for, for the people? And that's when I started to look at cryptocurrency because then I saw, wait a minute, read this Satoshi white paper and you, you get used to what cryptocurrency is. And well... I guess we, we kind of have to give up on the banking system. It's, it's never going to go back to what, let's say, we had it like in St. Martin or maybe what it might have been in the 1800s when banking you know, in, in the United States first came about with the greenback, etc., you know, a non-central currency. That, those days are over. So the only possible solution had to be cryptocurrency. So when I got elected in 2018, I immediately started doing research on it. And I questioned my central bank about it. I said, okay, what's your view? What's your position on, on, on cryptocurrencies? What, are you, what do you want to do? What is your vision? How are you going to advise uh, the parliament and the government? Because they're, it's an independent entity in the, in the country. Um, but we do have oversight over them via our minister of finance. And they came out with a one-page memo just basically saying, well, we don't have any oversight of cryptocurrency because it's not a security, it's not a, a tender. So basically, we suggest you do KYC, but we're not getting involved. And I found that was very weak of them, very um, nonchalant. You know, I think it, it, back then already we could have started, you know, innovating and, and reaching out to different people within the communities to see which, which cryptocurrency would best fit the needs of St. Martin, you know. So then I said, well, if I can't depend on the central bank, I have to do it myself. And I kept researching about it. Of course, I would start with Bitcoin and say, okay, is Bitcoin, does it work for us and stuff? And I quickly learned that Bitcoin is not going to solve the problem of not just St. Martinus, but the entire Caribbean, which is we need fast, cheap ways to remit money peer-to-peer. -peer. 